this is a special message to all the children. You are the most beautiful, funny and the cleverest little things in the universe. Some of you are big things. And God loves you so much, her heart jumps for joy. And God has put every secret of the universe into your heart from before you were born. And when you learn, it's really just people unlocking the secrets that are already there. So, pay attention and study for your own development. Actually, it's a great way if you're bored to do something, because things can be very boring sometimes, you know. And you think you, you, only you learn from the adults? Well, no, actually, adults can learn from you too. So be good for God, and be good and kind to each other. Try your best to make other people happy and laugh. And don't be stealing, and don't be lying, and don't fight. Now, if you're the, the bully, if there's somebody bullying you, stand up to them. And don't be afraid. And if you see your friends being bullied, stand up to them and don't be afraid. And never do something that you don't want to do, even if a bully threatens you. Now, you can resist and defend yourself, but try not to hit back. Because actually, you know, defence is actually more powerful, and it's easier to do, and it's safer than fighting back. Actually, you know, if you like it, you can learn things like Tai Chi and Judo and other defensive arts. They're very good for you, so dear, and they're great fun. But I wouldn't really recommend going fighting sports like boxing or Jeet Kune Do. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of a warning, okay? That now that the devil has been beaten, but sometimes a little demon escapes from hell now and again, so most children will never beat a demon, so don't worry. But be careful, if a devil ever escapes from hell and tries to trick you, just be careful. They look just like people. And if any stranger comes to you and tells you to come with them, whether it's into a car or a house or even a spaceship, on your own, come into the, the car with you on your own, or even if there's other two kids or three kids with you to come with them, don't do it. Don't go with them. Stay close to your parents. Always let them know where you're going and who you're with. And don't be going into people's houses without asking your mammy and your daddy first. Now be good to your parents until you meet your true love. And then God will reveal to you about the lollipop and the ice cream of love. So as I say, don't go with anyone. Even if you know them, unless your mammy and your daddy know first. Just ask them to make sure, double sure. And if anyone tries to take you, do everything you can to get away from them. Now the most important thing and the first thing you do is you scream a bit like this ah! but louder than that I'm not really good at screaming. Mind you if somebody was attacking me I could so it's not it's, there's no harm in practicing a bit I should practice a bit more myself but scream scream as loud as you can scream and if they say things like if you scream, I'll kill you. Ignore them and keep on screaming. Because that's your best line of defence from demons. And if they say that you have to go with them, and if you don't go with them, they'll kill you. Well, keep screaming and don't go with them. Try your best to get away from them. Because if you do go with them, they're going to kill you anyway. But they may end up doing worse things like they torture you with fire and knives. And if a demon ever does catch you, do whatever you can to get away. Sometimes demons do things like they, they touch your private parts to see if you're soft and if you're ready for eating. And if anyone does anything like this or anything that you know is wrong, tell your parents or someone that you trust. 
and if the demon tells you not to tell them and even they say, they say that they'll kill you or anything like that just ignore them and tell someone that you trust anyway sometimes demons they spend too much time in places like parks and toilets or changing rooms looking for children to eat so just be careful when boys go out to the, to the loo look straight ahead when you're doing a tinkle and colour cover your little whippy with your hand now demons what they do is they don't look ahead they turn their eyes in their heads they try and get a look at you to see if you're ready for eating so that's the warning anyway you have to be real you know there is demons but like I say most people most children will never ever ever never ever ever never 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 meet a demon but just to be just to know what to do if it ever happens to you okay now don't be trying to grow up too fast take your time and enjoy yourself when you're young it's a great time you can play dressing up you can play games and you can dance and you can sing so you may as well enjoy it and be friends with all the kids no matter what they look like or how to walk or how to talk and for the extra special kids like the kids with what they call down syndrome i'll tell you what you're not very good at flying planes and you're not very good at fixing computers and things like that but i'll tell you what when it comes to love you're the best in the world if there was championships you'd be world champions the whole lot of you and you know that god picked your parents especially because only the best parents deserve you so be good for god and for your parents and when you get old enough and you meet your true love bring your true love home to meet your parents so they can make sure that they're good enough for you and then you'll get the magic love lollipops and ice cream too when you meet your true love but if anyone tells you what they are before God reveals it to you, ask your parents or someone that you trust to make sure they're telling the truth and who is telling you. Well, that's all for now. So go away and play and be happy and fill the air with fun and laughter. And remember that God always loves you, even when you think you've been bad. So just tell him that you're sorry and you're not old again. And then don't do it again now. And so God allows, if God knows that you're really not going to be bad again, he'll always forgive you. Right, that's it now. Bye-bye. Did I like to do it? Did I like to do it?